Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, this is Dr. L here with another installment of Game Theory and uh, the topic for today is going to be safety and punishment strategies. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at maximin and minimax play uh, in a static game. Um, so let's get right to it by defining uh, the first concept, which is the maximin strategy and payoff. So we're going to define a security strategy as a maximin strategy for player I. If the strategy is able to secure the payoff of VI lower bar for that player, uh, and we're going to achieve this payoff by solving the following optimization problem, and it's a nested optimization problem. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're first going to consider the inside optimization problem where the opposition is trying to minimize player I's payoff by choosing a strategy from their strategy space. And given that behavior, then player I is going to solve the outside maximization problem uh, and the value of the resulting objective function is going to wind up being the maximum payoff for player I, which we call VI lower bar. Uh, the way to interpret this uh, intuitively is that player I is choosing a strategy that maximizes his own payoff given that the opposition is trying to uh, vindictively punish him by minimizing it. Um, so again, you can think the maximum payoff for player I is the largest payoff that player I can guarantee themselves without knowing the strategy choices of the other players. Okay, so we're going to jump right into an example here. So we're going to look at the following 2x2 two two normal form game, and uh, we're going to solve for the maximum strategy and payoff for player 1. Um, and we'll leave player two as an exercise, uh, which it turns out player two is a much simpler case because uh, if you just carefully observe this game, first thing you'll notice is that for player two, uh, R is a strictly dominant strategy. Um, and the Nash equilibrium of this static game is to play uh, downright uh, for the entire profile across both players. Um, so just uh, note those observations. And what we want to do now is apply our definition of the maximum strategy here. And we're going to do this in two steps. First thing we're going to do is we're going to solve the inside optimization problem. Uh, and what this is going to involve is essentially almost, we're going to think about this as like finding a best response. But instead of the best response for player one, what we're going to be looking at is player two's response that minimizes player one's payoff for all possible options of what player one could do. For example, uh, if player one chooses up, okay, then uh, player one is either getting a five or a negative five. So if player two wants to choose her payoff minimizing action and trying to minimize player one's payoff, then she would want to choose the strategy R uh, because that would induce a payoff of negative five for player one, which is the minimum payoff uh, in comparison to the other option, which is positive five. Uh, likewise, if instead player one had chose down, uh, then he's inducing either a payoff of negative 10 or 4, uh, implying that player 2's payoff minimizing action against player 1 is now to choose L uh, because this would induce a payoff of negative 10. Um, so this is the solution to the inside optimization problem. So what we're going to do now is we'll substitute that solution in here. So you'll notice this looks just like a best response uh, function for player 2, except it's not. This is a mapping from player one strategy space into player two strategy space, whereby player two is minimizing player one's utility. So this U star here is the minimum utility that player one achieves when player two is optimally minimizing. Okay, so now what we would like to do is solve the outside optimization problem from player one's perspective. Uh, and basically what that amounts to is looking at these two payoff values and choosing a strategy for player one that induces the larger one of those. So we can go ahead and do that pretty easily here. Okay, if player one wants to play the strategy that yields the larger of these two payoffs, either negative five or negative ten, uh, then he wants to play the strategy of U, uh, which would induce this payoff of negative five given that the maximum profile uh, that induces that would have player two playing the strategy R. Um, so if player one does in fact play U against R, uh, then we wind up supporting a maximum payoff of negative five uh, for player one. So again, the maximum payoff for player one in this game, uh, when we're only considering pure strategies here, is negative five, and the profile that induces that is player one playing his maximum strategy of U against player two playing R. Okay, what we'll do next now is we'll consider uh, the um, other concept of a minimax strategy. So maximum strategy we sort of thought of as a type of security strategy, whereas a minimax strategy, which we're going to wind up uh, deriving by solving sort of the reverse nested optimization problem, we can actually think of as a punishment strategy. So we're going to define a punishment strategy profile as a minimax strategy profile for players minus i 
if that profile is able to hold player I to the payoff level of uh, V upper bar I. And again, uh, we can find this by looking at the uh, objective functions value at the optimum by solving this nested optimization problem. So you'll notice now the min and the max have flipped places. Uh, now the inside problem looks really familiar. The inside optimization problem here uh, has player one choosing his strategy from his strategy space to maximize his own utility. And that's a familiar problem. That's going to yield the best response function for player one. So we already know what the solution to the inside optimization problem looks like. The outside is going to entail given player one plays his best response or given that player I is playing his best response, uh, what strategy should the other players choose to minimize player I's payoff given that player I is playing his utility maximizing strategy through his best response. Okay, another way to interpret this, uh, this strategy profile for the uh, opposition is that players minus I are choosing the strategy profile that minimize player I's payoff again given that player I is playing optimally, meaning player I is playing his or her best response. Hey, uh, you can also interpret the minimax payoff for player I as the smallest payoff that the opposition can hold player I to without knowing the strategy choice of player I. Equivalently, uh, this is also the largest value that a player can guarantee themselves uh, knowing the strategies of the other player. So again, we can go back to our two by two example here, uh, recalling before that R dominates L for player two. And again, that downright is the pure strategy Nash equilibrium. And we're gonna now apply the uh, definition of the minimax and pure strategies by again, considering first the inside optimization problem. And again, the inside optimization problem is very familiar to us. That is the problem that player one would solve to generate his best response function. So again, if two plays L, one's best response then is to play U. Uh, because if two plays L, she's inducing either a five or 10. If one plays U, he gets five instead of uh, this negative 10 payoff. Uh, on the other hand, if instead two is playing R, uh, then they're inducing either a payoff at negative five for player one or a four. So obviously uh, four is utility maximizing in that situation, implying that player one's best response to R is to play uh, D. Uh, so that is the solution to the inside optimization problem. Again, now what we wanna do is take that solution, okay, uh, we're gonna substitute in player one's best response function here. So now U star, this is interpreted as the maximum utility that player one is achieving by playing his best response. And what we wanna do is take that as a given and from player two's perspective, we wanna choose the strategy that is now going to induce the lowest of these possible payoffs for player one. So again, you'll notice we have two payoffs here to compare five and four. Obviously, if player two wants to minimize that, they wanna induce this payoff of four, uh, which means player two would choose right, knowing that the best response to right is player one playing down. And so player two's uh, min-max strategy in this case would be to play D, and the min-max payoff that is supported by this strategy profile of D and R uh, is for um, player one to achieve a min-max payoff of exactly four. And so just a couple more marks. Uh, I know we did this analysis here just in pure strategies for now. I will consider mixing in the second part of the video series uh, in, in a moment. Um, but just a few remarks. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Uh, so just a few remarks. First remark. Uh, is that in general, the minimax payoff for player I is at least as great as the maximum payoff for that player. Uh, that is, uh, V upper bar I is greater than or equal to V lower bar I. Um, and you should be able to verify uh, for this example that we looked at that player two's minimax and maximum payoffs are actually the same uh, and they're equal to one for this case. So you should be able to just go back through that example pretty easily here. The analysis is even simpler for player two uh, due to the fact that player twos uh, has a dominant strategy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that video lecture series, very brief, and uh, we will pick up in a moment uh, with a similar analysis, but extending our uh, strategy space to the uh, set of probability distributions and allowing players to consider mixing in order to either uh, try to optimally defend themselves with the security strategy or uh, by mixing in order to um, optimally punish a player by holding them to their mini-max payoff.